कुछ रिकॉर्डिंग का कुछ नहीं कर रहे Good evening, all of you. I'm Anati. Today I am taking the session on Audible. Hello. Yes, I'm a bit of Audible. My screen is visible. Hello. Yes, yes. So today we will be discussing about the cyber stalking, kinds of cyber stalking, forms of cyber stalking, identifying cyber stalking, signs that you are stalked online, steps that uh, you win cyber stalk, how to prevent, and we will ask that. Okay. First is the cyber stalking. What is cyber stalking? The internet has created a channel that has made communication and sharing of data easier. Social media platform allows people to connect with each other and access each other's information with a single click. Okay. However, on the flip side, technology has certain loopholes which allows criminals to misuse their liability of access leading to a rise in cyber crimes. One such crime is cyber stalking. That cyber stalking also called online stalking and the internet stalking. What is cyber stalking? We know about the stalking and the word connect with the stalking is cyber stalking. We will discuss what is cyber stalking. Cyber stalking is a crime in which someone harasses or stalks a victim using electronic or digital means such as social media, emails, instant messages, or messages posted to our discussions, groups, or forums. That is cyber stalking. We all know about the cyber stalking. It is the use of the internet or the electronic means to stalk or harass an individual group. It may also include monitoring, identify, identity theft, threats, vandalism, socialization, for sex, boxing, or blackmail. Cyber stalkers can take unfair advantage of the internet to keep them undefined. Cyber stalking is often used in the conjunction with offline stalking as both use an expression of desire to control, intimidate, manipulate a victim. A cyber stalker may be someone the victim is familiar with complete stranger. It, is the, it refers to the crime of using the internet. Okay. Cyber stalking uh, continuously monitoring on someone's activity uh, continuous, for the continuous period of time. It may cause harassment, anger, depression, fear. In India, there is a no such law of cyber stalking, but we have Information Technology Act. Some 
sections. Okay, we can talk about the cyber stalking. We just take an example. If you have received any type of unwanted or disturbing type of messages, threatening type of messages received continuously and uh, given several times a day, uh, that is called a cyber stalking. Nowadays, it is becoming a big topic of risk for women. It can become dangerous and can develop into physical abuses. The more problem you are facing that the physical or mental torture. And, uh, after that, we can discussing about the, some examples of cyber stalking. When it comes to cyber stalking, those who engage in this behavior use a variety of tactics and techniques to harass it, humiliate, humiliate, intimidate, and control their targets. In fact, many of those who engage in cyber stalking are technologically. Here are some examples of cyber stalking. That is a posted offensive or suggestive comments online. Follow the target online by joining the same groups and forums. Send threatening, controlling, or some messages or emails to the target. Use technology to threaten or blackmail the target. Tag the target and post excessively, even if they have nothing to do with them. Comment on or like everything the target posts online. Create fake accounts to follow the targets on social media accounts. And hack into or hijack the target's online accounts. That is the online accounts, uh, debit card and credit card and the all that. Uh, attempt to export sex or explicit photos. Send unwanted gifts or items to the target. Release confidential information online. Post or distribute real or fake photos to the target. Bombard the target with sexually explicit photos of themselves. Create fake posts designed to shame the victim. And track the target's online movement by installing tracking devices. Hack into the target's camera on their laptop or smartphone as a way to secretly record them. Continue the harassing behavior even after being asked to stop. These are the some examples of cyber stalking. After that, the kinds of cyber stalking. That is the types of cyber stalking. And the uh, women in India, whether she is a college student, working, professional, or a housewife, get stalked on a regular basis. Stalking itself, it is a criminal offensive, either physical or electronic, and it is punishable with one or two years of jail. Let's explore the uh, kinds of cyber stalking. First is catfishing. In catfishing, that is the, uh, the create a fake profile, fake identity. Stalkers create a fake profile on a social media to approach the victim. Sometimes they copy the existing user's profile with photos to look it like the real one. And the next is monitoring location, check-ins on a social media. Stalkers keep an eye on the activities of a victim. Stalkers' uh, activity, uh, online activities, keep an eye, always keep an eye and check their so check-ins and social media, such as Facebook and intra Instagram, what posts they are posted and uh, which time they are uh, given to the online. These all things in uh, social media. This is an easier job for a stalker to watch a victim's behavior pattern. Next is uh, uh, visiting virtually via Google Maps Street. If a stalker discovers the victim's address, then it is not hard to find the area, neighborhood, and surrounding by using street view. Text way stalkers do not need that too. They can discover the victim's place from the post or photos posted on social media. Okay. And the next is the hijacking webcam. Computers webcam hijacking is one of the most disturbing method of cyber stalking. 
to invade the victim's privacy. Stalkers push malware infected files into the victim's computer, which gave them access to the webcam. Uh, two. Uh, which give them access to the webcam for the uh, access the hijacking installing software that is the another method which is increasing it's probably it's the use of software it is a kind of soft, soft software or spyware which keeps track of the location enable access to text there and browsing history make uh, an audio recording etc that is a important, uh, it is not important thing that it runs in the background without any knowledge of the victim. Looking at geotags to track the location, it is one of the uh, very familiar to trap the stalkers. Uh, most digital pictures contain geotags, which is having information like the time and location of the picture when shot in the form of metadata. Geotags comes in the EXIF file format embedded into an image and it's readable with the help of special apps. In this way, the stalker keeps an eye on the victim and gets the information about their whereabouts. Looking and after that, the forms of cyber stalking. When the forms of cyber stalking, cyber stalking cases differ from regular stalking in that it is a technologically based. So some stalkers accelerate their harassment to include physical stalking as well. It is it a cyber stalking act out of danger or a need to control or gain, gain revenge over another person through so threats, fear, and intimidation. There are several forms of cyber stalking, including embarrassing and humiliating the victim, harassing the victim, exerting financial control by victims, uh, emptying the victim's bank account or by running this his debit, isolating the victim by harassing his family, friends, and employer, frightening the, frightening the victim by using some tactics and threats. After that, we will say about the identifying cyber stalking. What is cyber identifying? Uh, identifying the cyber stalking. Identifying it is something difficult for a person who's being harassed or stalked to realize the situation. It is a criminal act that should be reported to the authorization. Authorized. This behavior continues even when the victims have personally warned the perpetrators to stop. Some key factors to identifying its first is a false equation. False equation, a cyber stalker often tries to damage the reputation of his victim by posting false information on social media websites or blogs. A perpetrator may even create fiction websites or other accounts for the purpose of spreading false rumors and allegations about the victim. Next is gathering information about the victim. The cyber stalker may try to gather as much as information as possible about the victim by interacting with the victim's friends, families, and colleagues. In serious cases, a cyber stalker may hire a private investigator also. The next is the monitoring victim's activity. A cyber stalker may attempt to trace his victim's IP address or hack into the victim's social media accounts or emails to learn about his online activities, what they post and what, what time will be online is in that is. Uh, next is encouraging others to harass the victim. That is, the offender may encourage the involvement of third parties or harasses the victim. And after that, the false victimization. It is not uncommon for a cyber stalker to claim the victim is harassing him, talking the position of victim his own mind. And that is the identifying this cyber, uh, cyber stalker. 
signs that you are stalked online. You should know these before that. What is the signs? An ex-partner or friend should be possible stalker. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, it may be someone the victim is familiar with complete stranger also. They want to know about what you are doing and stay updated. The chances are that is harmless talking. However, if it goes to the point of being obsessive, then you need to control it. The signs will tell you how to check this aspect. In case your actions were misinterpreted, then you have a retaliation on the plate. This could result in stalking. Eventually, you might even get threats and other signs that suggest that the person is stalking you online. A stall is someone who comments on all your posts and even threatens you with dire circumstances. They cannot tolerate your perspectives. And as a result, offer negative comments. However, the question remains whether it is a harmless or harmful to you. And uh, some signs that suggest you need to take immediate action against the stalker. The, person, the concerned person is continuously looking at your profile. That is a stalker. You will notice that they are regularly commenting on your photo or whatever you are sharing that is, uh, there is a certain level of this uh, discussion in their message. They seem to want to an answer. They are unable to dig digest the fact that you are ignoring them. They go to the extent of reaching out to, of your, out to your family and getting message across to you through them. They keep checking your pages every, uh, every minute. They know what you are up to what you are and what you are doing at that moment. The stalker has gone from being online and has entered your real world. It is a scary and could be dangerous as well. There is a good chance that they would hack all your personal and banking accounts. It could also be stalking that was done with the intention of catfishing. Catfishing we can discuss previously. After that, how to prevent cyber stalking? Uh, the US Department of Justice has issued recommendations for people who believe they are victims of cyber stalking. The first step should be demand the stalkers to stop all contact and stop the harassing actions. And the, some uh, victim, uh, some the factors should the victim should save all emails, messages, and other communication for evidence. Save all records of threats against the victim's safety or life. Contact the protector and internet service provider. Keep detailed record of contact with ISP and law enforcement officials. How to prevent cyber stalking? That is the uh, we can discuss when it comes to preventing cyber stalking. It is. Uh, it, it's important that you take the necessary precautions to prevent, to protect yourself online. Although it is not possible to completely prevent cyber stalking from occurring, there are some few steps you can take to increase your security and reduce the likelihood, likelihood of it happening. Okay. First is avoid sharing personal information. You are probably using online platforms that is uh, Instagram, Facebook, and etc. to promote yourself or the brand you have created it. It's possible that in the flow of promotion, you are also revealing your uh, whereabouts while there is a no scope to reduce the number of posts. You can, uh, there's a no scope, the number of posts, you can always avoid revealing personal information. Don't share your location, your phone number, and even your address also on these platforms. You are directly the, directing the stalkers to move from online to offline when you share such private details. Avoid using your real name also on social media platforms, specifically 
the forums and messages. If you are using media for work, then you cannot avoid it on the major platforms. When you are on a dating time, maintain a low profile. It will help you avoid date, chatting with the wrong people. Next is keep your software updated. So one of the most commonly made mistake is to avoid updating. When the software is not up to date, you may not have received the patches and security updates. As a result, the information stored on the so, uh, stored on the software can get leaked and reach the potential stalkers. It is also possible that the software releases your location details as it has not been upgraded to the new security features. To avoid this, you always look out for updates. Next is adopt digital hygiene. This will help you ensure stable mental health and avoid looking at the negative comments. Start with identifying who can see your profile and who cannot. You should also update the privacy settings. As the apps get updated to use the new features, you should essentially specify who can message you as well as you are on digital hygiene. After that, uh, 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 digital hygiene, uh, apart from this, you should also frequently delete the negative comments on your feed. Keep your feed clean. Uh, these negative comments can affect you, which need to be avoided. It can also lead to more comments. Next, fourth is uh, no sensitive information. You may tend to reveal information such as passwords using the messengers on these platforms. Try avoiding, uh, try avoiding this as much as possible. Apart from this, you should uh, you should avoid sharing your contact details with people offline as well. For instance, avoid filling the coupons given outside malls with the correct information. You never know who will get access to this information unless you are sure about the company and its marketing. Do not reveal any type of information. The fifth is mask IP address. It is a good idea to avoid sharing your IP address. While you are accessing social media platform, you can mask the IP address using VPNs. It helps prevent people from accessing your location while you stay safe online. Okay. After that, uh, some steps to take when you are cyber stalks. First, you block the profile. Do not feel that do you feel that person is bothering you a lot with their messages? The cyber law as well as the web services grant you the option to block anyone. You will stop receiving messages from the person as your first step in the battle against cyber stalking. Block the person and stop getting their messages. Am I audible? Hello? Yes. This will ensure mental peace. Next is report the profile. Every social media platform allows you to report a profile, flag them as inappropriate. If there is any other way to reporting, then you should use it as well. However, this may not the, uh, be the end of stalking. Sometimes the stalkers return despite being reported using a different identity. It will take some time before you know that is the same person. The platform moderators are usually quick to work on this aspect and will delete their profiles. After that, file a complaint. Once you have taken the first few steps, you should file a complaint with the police. If you feel that the stalker has the potential of causing harm, then you should report to the police immediately. You may not have a lot of information about the stalkers. However, when the complaint is filled, you will get advice on dealing with the situation better, even with fewer details present about the stalkers. You might be able to stop the stalking completely. Okay. And the next step is 
comes legal aspects of cyber stalking. Cyber stalking is the legal aspects. We can say that cyber stalking is becoming even more common as an individual become more independent on technology. Low, uh, law enforcement and government organization they continue uh, research about the crime, understand on from committing uh, and control and stop imitation. Some cyber stock uh, anti cyber stocking laws have been formed as cyber stocking punishment. All, not all countries across the world have taken up these laws in certain states across the across the US you will notice that they have made cyber stalking punishable. The offender will be sent to jail or five years and have to bear a fine. They have been cases that states how the states have been handled the situation. There is a no specific law for cyber stalking. It has been it has been continued with other laws. Currently, the countries are working on specific laws to deal with the situation. These include uh, harassment and threats they may receive online. Cyber stalking was not incorporated in the IT and when it came into force in 2000, unless the act involved publishing on transmission of options material within the meaning of section 67 of the IT Act. In the section 509 of the Indian Penal Code partially deals with the offensive uh, according to which altering of any word, making of any sound or gesture or object to, the, to be harder seen by a woman or institution upon the privacy of such women shall be punishable with imprisonment up to three years and fine. And uh, next is uh, section 509 of IPC defines this act as one of the one of privacy. Section 72 of IT Act was used to deal with cases of cyber stalking to an extent. In cooperation of section 66A in 2008, amendment of IT Act punishment for sending of offensive messages through communication services, etc. Email communication amounting to extortion may be um, dealt with under section 4366-63C of the Act 2000. And the, and the other is in India, they, uh, the cases which are filled uh, filed against those stalkers are majority reported by the females. Nearly about 60% females get victimized. The, uh, the stalking is majority majorly spotted in two states in India. First is Maharashtra and the second is Delhi. In the Maharashtra with uh, 1,399 cases which had a higher number of stalking. And the Delhi with around 1,130 1, cases is filed against the cyber stalking. And the cyber stalking cases are uh, deal in India by the uh, two sections. The first is IT Act and the second is the criminal law. The IT is the Information Technology Act that is 2000 and the Criminal Law Act is the 2013. And the first ever complaint against in cyber stalking in India was filed by Ritu Poli in 2013. Those name and contact information was posted by her husband's friend on a chatting site without her permission. She filed a complaint with the cyber bill in India under section 509 of the Indian Penal Code for out of trading her modesty. The crime of cyber stalking in India is prominently increasing with new cases of internet stalking every day. With even accessing personal information of a person online, 
cyber criminals are easily able to stalk or harass a person and the second is the uh, the criminal law act that is 2013 this act includes stalking as an offensive under section 35b of the ipc that is indian penal code this act states that uh, any men who contact and follow up women or attempts to contact such women to uh, proselytize personal communication repeatedly despite of being clean clear indication of this interest by such women or second is observe the use of a woman over the internet in still messages emails or any other form of electronic communication is the offense of stalking what is the legal aspects and the in the last is the cyber stalking tactics in the cyber stalking tactics we will uh, as a people begin to delay more and more on technology the incident of cyber stalking increasing law enforcement and government agencies continue to study the crime in order to learn how to better deter criminals from engaging this crime of control fear and intimidation the national advocacy group survivors in action against their cyber stalking tactics are often difficult to come back as a great deal of this activity goes unreported the majority of cyber stalking victims are between the age of 18 to 29 roughly we can say that the 50 percent of the 56 percent of cyber stalkers are men and the women are 60 percent in over sorry women make 60 percent of victims the uh, in over 70% of the cyber stalking cases the victim and the perpetrators live in different states that is the cyber stalking and uh, nearly 50% of cyber stalkers are the victims ex friend and that is and the uh, 50% are an online equation of the victim more than 30% of cyber stalking attacks begin on facebook or through email over half of cyber stalking victims are single and 31% are married caution people are 10 times more likely to be targeted for cyber stalking than people of their ethnicity cyber stalking are most is the most common via email that is the uh, 30% is uh, is using via email through email and after facebook via 30% and the twitter uh, so the twitter is 3% and the youtube is only 1% most of the cases are in under the social media websites that is the facebook and instagram also that is all for today Am I audible? Yes. So that is for all today. So any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rafi.
Okay, thank you. And that's all for today. Thank you, ma'am.